Some new developments point to pricing, color options, and ETA for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Separate reports claim that the iPhone X might be ditching Touch ID over facial recognition and that the world prepare for the second generation Xiaomi Mi Mix. I'm Jaime Rivera, back in the New York studio, freezing absolutely every inch of my behind. This is Parker Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you want to get yourself a really inexpensive smartphone that's really good, there's the G4 Play from Moto. It is currently at B&H for just $130. And there's even a coupon code that'll drop the 30 bucks. Uh, you can learn more in the link in the description. Now let's talk about Xiaomi. Yes, Hugo Barra is no longer in the company, but uh, the company's CEO is kind of teasing what to expect. We have heard that there is a new Mi Mix in the works and pretty much there is a confirmation now. And uh, for those of you wondering exactly exactly why we need another awesome Mi Mix. And that's because apparently the company is working on bringing an even thinner profile for those bezels. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. We can now wait to see what's next. Now, in some very interesting developments, it seems that HTC plans to continue broadening its scope of the way it operates. First of all, we see the company working in VR. Definitely its smartphone business is not doing great, but apparently the company wants to do a little more ODMing. And for those of you that don't remember, HTC used to be an ODM. That's how the company started. And eventually, it started showing us its brand. But in the past, there was the maker of the compact iPad, in addition to other devices out there. Apparently, the company just did that with a Google Pixel. And it seems that it might start doing it again with US carriers. For those of you that don't remember, the HTC Touch Pro 2 back in the day of Windows Mobile was very famous, mainly because it came out with an insane amount of carrier variants. Apparently, that's going to be the case. I'm not saying I'm going to celebrate this, but I don't think it's a bad idea either. And for those of you that followed the rumors yesterday of the iPhone X getting a design that has no bezels at the top and apparently at the bottom, some sort of a, like a touch bar, apparently those rumors are getting even more traction today. New reports claim that apparently that touch bar might mean that there won't be Touch ID. Apparently, whatever sort of iris scanner that this phone is going to bring is going to bring enough facial recognition for there to be no need for Touch ID. And that's gonna be rather interesting because Touch ID is cool because you don't have to lift the phone up for it to look at you and unlock the phone. You could just press it from wherever it is. So let's see how Apple pulls that off if it does happen, which I don't think will happen. And finally, the very hot news is they have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and its possible launch frame. Apparently it's going to happen sometime in week 14 of 2017, which falls in April. That's great. I think that that's good timing. But in addition to that, we also hear color options, like for example, black, gold, and <laughs> orchid gray, whatever orchid gray is. But we also notice that apparently there will be only one variant, the 64 gig variant, that will most likely have expandable storage, et cetera, et cetera. It leads me to the question of the day. What do you think of these rumors of the Samsung Galaxy A8? Do you think that it's a good time to announce it in March for a launch in April? Because in my case, I think that it would be perfect timing for this phone in particular, so long as Samsung takes its time and does this right. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.